Any paper can have its best 11, but only market can have its once deception. It's all disappointing 11, if you will, and no surprise. Antoine Griezmann makes the team. We say that in air quotations. Uh, making the show now, Julian Laurent. Jules, look, we know the Spanish media can be harsh and has certainly been harsh on Griezmann. Can you defend him here in his inclusion in the once deception? Of course I will defend him. Listen, of course he hasn't reached the height that he was before Atletico Madrid. But let's not forget, this is a completely different team that plays in a very, very different way. It's already a dysfunctional team, not just with Griezmann, but with pretty much everybody else. This Barca team, apart from Messi, the rest, everybody pretty much has been disappointing. And, and I think it's really harsh to put Griezmann in there. He'd been playing half position for most of the, for most of the campaign, sometimes on the right, sometimes on the left. It's only really when at some point he played two up front with Suarez, with Messi as a number 10 in a free roll behind against Villarreal away after the restart that we saw, the, we saw at best what he could do in that position and he was brilliant in that game. He scored a lovely goal. His link up play with Suarez and Messi was great. So if you judge him on that game and the few games that he played in his real position, then it's a far more positive image really than, than, than if, you, if you look at him playing at white, which is clearly not his position at all. He hasn't played there since he was a teenager almost so if you judge him on that I think it's really harsh I see why people were disappointing and I was and I think I was disappointed I think Griezmann himself was disappointed that things hasn't haven't worked out better for him this season at Barcelona but to put him in the in the, the worst 11 of the season the most disappointing 11 of the season I think is a bit harsh. Jules we got two weeks until the Champions League let's focus in on Kikes at the end where does his future stand we've heard seemingly every name linked to this job both in a permanent and even interim basis <laughs> Uh, Laurent Blanc, the latest, Patrick Kluivert even as well. Where do we stand? I think Sitchin would be there for the, uh, the Champions League, the second leg against Napoli for sure in the last 16. If they make it to the quarterfinals, he will still be there. Uh, he has another year left on his contract. We saw Bartomeu saying that he would be there next season as well. I think there's probably a case there. Everybody is waiting for the election in a year time, and we know that if Victor Font wins win those elections, Xavi will become the manager and will come with him. What happens if Victor Font doesn't win the election and, and the Bartomeu candidate wins it? What happens then to the Xavi idea and, and all of that? I, I guess we cross that bridge when it comes. But Setien could definitely be there again next season as a, as a bridge gap, as a, as a gap year if you want, and to prepare for Xavi's arrival and the change at the club. I think that's, that's plausible. Also, they could sack him after the Champions League, especially if they don't win it, and that looks like unlikely that they can go all the way now. And then replace him with someone who will only stay a year. I think Laurent Blanc would agree to just one year. I believe the story that we saw in L'Equipe in France, that Laurent Blanc was one of the candidates, that Eric Abidal was thinking about him for the job, are not true. Uh, yes, he played at the club, and yes, he's a manager who is looking for a club. I just don't think Laurent Blanc would be a good idea for Barcelona right now. Patrick Clover. Similar, similar idea for me. He's, he's, he's not really ready to be a manager at Barcelona right now. Could you go and get Ronald Koeman? He said he wanted to, to do the Euros with, with Holland and now the Euros is in a year. You don't see him quitting his job for Holland now a year before the Euros. So I think they might keep Sechen more by default than anything else really. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.